Now, we're starting our zucchini pickle slices. And we need two and a half cups of zucchini, about two, two and a half cups of onion too. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut up whatever we like. We'll probably mm -hmm. go a little lighter on the onion. This is what you call the hot bath or hot pack. It's so simple. And the jars seal after that. So you cut those up with about a quarter of an inch? Yeah, whatever size you like. And we could even cut them in half if we want. It depends what size you want. Now, if you want to compare these to something, these are going to be more like bread and butter, wouldn't you not right. imagine? All right, now where are we going from here? Well, you know, usually you could use a smaller zucchini bean. This was a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and cut these down a little smaller so that they'll fit in our pint jars better. I'm actually going to quarter them if you're okay with mm -hmm. that. And that'll be our little, it's almost like a bread and butter pickle, but made out of zucchini. So if you're trying to get rid of your zucchini, now we have too much zucchini. Don't let anything go to waste. Right. Now we've shown our mock apple pie in the past, made out of zucchini. Take a look at this. Look at the shot. That's not apple pie. That's mock apple pie out of zucchini. Now this is a good time right here to tell you, if you have missed any shows in the past, go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Check out our recipes, check out our canning, check out Old Time Hog, Gillen's Rabbit Butcher, and whatever we might have done. And we've got a lot of great stuff coming up. We've got a lot of good stuff coming out of the garden still. And our sheep should be here shortly. Yay. Let's go ahead and throw all these in. All right, I'm gonna move this aside a minute and cut up an onion. And it calls for an equal amount of onion, but I might go a little lighter on the onion. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave these in pieces for us too, so when it pickles, if somebody likes to eat an onion. You can can, can't you? Can, you can can. You can, you know, can and you can do anything you want, really. Our ancestors canned their own stuff. They had root cellars where they had, you know, consistent temperature. That's one thing I'd like to do. Wouldn't you like to put a big root cellar inside of nice. them over here? Store stuff. I'm starting to cry. You have to onionize. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside, make our hot mixture. And we, I'll have you read that off to me, and then we'll make your you strawberry. You pour that over that? Right, we're, and gonna, then let, let it we're gonna let it sit for an hour. Uh -huh. We are gonna add two cups of cider vinegar. Gotcha. One cup of sugar, four to five tablespoons of salt. Okay, one and a half teaspoons of celery seed, and one quarter to one half teaspoon of ground turmeric. You can follow this little recipe, and it's not just little changes here and there and you can uh, basically make just about anything, pickle-wise, bread yeah. and butter type. So you're gonna bring that to a boil and then pour it over and then let it set for an hour. We're gonna set it aside. All right, once you get this boiling, you just add these together, put a top on them, let them stand for an hour. All right, man, we got stuff going on. We got water boiling back here for your hot bath. Yes. We got the pressure cooker going over here. These smell and good. And this has been going for about a minute and a half. We got another minute and a half to go. All right, that's ready. Let's turn that off. And I'm gonna go ahead and see. And you're gonna go right in the can. Those already smell, I'm telling you what, I could eat that right, I believe I could eat that right now. It does smell good, doesn't it? Absolutely. Most of our grandparents and great grandparents, this is what they did. This is how they preserved their food over the wintertime. And those are ready. Those are ready. That goes in the hot bath. This goes in the hot bath. Then we let your pickles go for 15, just boiling. That's the whole process.